Alright people, what's going on? Benanu here, aka the man with black privilege, and today I'm trying to, you know, fulfill for the past couple weeks because I've been slipping when it comes to scheduling these uh, Forgotten Friday videos, so... <laughs> um, this is going to be a game that is uh, essentially a game based on a cartoon. Uh, this was a cartoon that I grew up with. I remember me and my brother used to sit at home watching it, and it was pretty good for a cartoon for its time. I mean, it came out like, uh, had to be like in between 93, 95, I'm, I'm guessing, just off, just off the top of my head. It reminded me of um, the Conan cartoon. Um, it was very similar to that, where you had like three characters. It was the same, similar kind of sort of stuff. But um, if you guys can tell with the picture right here, and um, I know when we get to the title screen, um, this game is the Pirates of Dark Water. And basically the whole, like how Conan, you had the star metal that could kill Set and his minions and all that. Well, in this, the whole gimmick was like the whole Dark Water thing where like if you fell in the water, it would just like, you know, kill you and whatnot. The main character was like, I want to say like this prince guy whose father was killed by the guy you see on the screen here, the pirate guy, and he got his broken sword, but he used it like a short sword, even though it was just like a like a sword that got broken in his father's fight. But the the difference between the two shows is when it came to the dark water, um, I forget it was something in the show. I don't know if it was the sword or if it was something like he had some kind of jewel that he had with him too. That whenever he would put it in a it, in the dark water, it would like make the water turn into like regular water rather than being dark water. And it was basically just them going after the pirate guy and the pirate guy trying to kill him. Um, I don't remember watching it all the way through, so I don't know if they actually did that, but I doubt it. But let's just jump into this. I've never played this, but I've always seen it in my listing of games. So, oh dear God. Oh dear God. I'm expecting this to be shitty based on this little character select screen. Ayaz never liked this dude even in the cartoon. Main character dude was alright, but he always had that stupid bird that kept always wanting pomegranates and whatnot. Alright fellas, sorry about that. Had to answer a phone call real quick. But anyway, like I was saying, main character dude was kind of annoying, but uh, we're gonna pick Sexy Tula, because you know she was sexy, even in the cartoon. So we're gonna go with her. Low strength, high agility. Okay, so I'm guessing I could jump very high, but I'm gonna punch people multiple times. Oh, yeah, that was another gimmick of the show. Like, the, like the whole point of the show is they needed all of the treasures of rule to do something. And that was, like, the whole point of the show. They had to, you know, go around from episode to episode finding each one of those two treasures. And the compass, that was the jewel thing I was saying before where he had the compass to where he would... It would tell him where the jewels were. Kind of like the Dragon Radar from Dragon Ball. That doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to be. Badass sexy magic. Alright, let's go. like how fast the game is, but it, it, it's just missing that uh, it doesn't feel fluid like, let's say, like a final fight beat him up feel. Feels kind of weird. <laughs> not great, but not, you know, it's, it's, it's not shitty. It's, it's not like it's one of those games where it's just like, oh, the movement is bad. It, it, it's, it, it's, when I say weird, I don't mean it being bad. It, it just feels, okay, kind of weird. <laughs> A winning pose. Oh, they have their own sexy chick. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't feel bad. It feels smooth, but it, it's just not as, uh, I wish it was like Final Fight or like uh, Streets of Rage. Also, these guys seem weak as hell. I'm like, don't get me wrong. I mean, I know beat em up saying, you know, aren't supposed to be tough, but like, you know. Ah, getting a Skype call. You know what? Screw it. We're just going to ignore it. Hopefully the little ringing isn't too loud, but you know, I'm not going to stop a video for you guys. Just to answer a Skype call. I know I don't hear it as much, so I'm, I'm assuming in the video you guys won't be hearing it as much either, so. Alright. I know we're just going to try to, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to make a short video of this, so. Probably only going to play it for like a couple levels, if that, you know, if I live that long. I'm assuming I will, because I'm like owning everybody here without even, you know, taking much damage. 
you know? This game just seems like it's easy. Like, it seems like it's on easy mode right now. Like, <laughs> like nobody's attacking. <laughs> like, I get hit, like, once every blue moon. Speaking of which, okay. Damn, okay. There we go. Okay. Now we're getting some difficulty up. Let's go. Oh, shit. Ground shaking. What we got? Boss fight? Is this where Shredder's gonna come out? You know, or Magneto that's gonna say, welcome to die, you know? Alright, no, guess not. Just falling underground for some weird reason. One thing I never understood about the show was, um... They never really... Or, or at least as far as I got into it. <laughs> oh, I remember, I remember that little guy. The little midget guy, he was like the, uh... The pirate guy's first mate. Or something like that. I remember they fought him tons of times in the cartoon but uh they never mentioned like the pirate guys like motivations for doing anything it was just like oh i'm the bad guy just because i i want to collect all the treasures just because you know it was like one of those kind of sort of things where they never jumped into you know what his motivations were and i guess it was a kid's cartoon so they wouldn't think of like that but the animation was good the music was decent and it was mature enough but like it wasn't the greatest cartoon in the world, but it had some substance behind it. I like the Conan cartoon. Another cartoon I love from back in the day. I remember that was like my brother's shit. He's like a huge Conan fan. Read all the books and shit. Hated the new movie when they wasn't you know, when it when it came out with the one guy. Um, I know he's the one guy who was in Game of Thrones, but um, I know him from uh, Stargate Atlantis. And uh, for those of you who don't know who don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about the guy who's gonna be the new Aquaman. But, uh, yeah, his Conan movie was straight ass. I mean, I'm not a Conan fan, so I was like, I, well, I'm, I, 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 I'm a little bit of fan of, of Conan, don't get me wrong. But I was going into it, I'm, like, I'm, I haven't read none of the books, I'm not no hardcore fan like that, but, I mean, it, I knew I shouldn't do that. That movie was just, like, it was just boring. Like, I think, like, the, like, it, it, it was just... I, I don't know. Maybe maybe that's more true to form to what Conan actually is. But I but judging from what my brother was telling me and everything that I've read up about the books of people talking about it and reading synopsis and stuff like that, it wasn't. <laughs> but neither was Arnold Schwarzenegger's Conan movies from back in the day either, so Because um, judging from what I read about it, Conan was like an asshole. <laughs> like all he did was go around and fight people. That's like all he did. <laughs> and I don't know if this is like level two or not, but this is a long ass level. Like, can I get a, you know, can I get an end boss, please? I mean, I don't think they kill me yet, but you know, might have to start abusing that little magic power just to kill everybody on the screen. Oh shit, we got a Jamaican black dude, and he's... And he twirls a sword, okay. Damn, he looked tall as shit, like... Damn, you ain't gotta kick me in a hole like that! Damn, look up the... You can't even hit me, look how, like, I come up to his knee. <laughs> I mean, I come up to, like... <laughs> no, wait a minute. Yeah, it's like, I come up, like, just... Just, damn. Just to his waist. Like, if I was a chick, I would be... I would be afraid of his penis. Just saying. Cause you know he don't get that. There you go, eat that hole. Dude, stop blocking you. You know you're gonna get hit. I can keep this up all day. Are you gonna walk into it? Gonna walk into it? Why do I start the combo with like a chop and then switch to the dagger? That makes like that makes no sense. Like if I have a dagger, use it. <laughs> oh god, my nemesis. Is there a sprint in this? Yep, yes there is. Okay, the jump button. Alright, we're gonna go for it. There we go. <laughs> Damn. Rock to the face. Yeah, see, this is where this game is hard, you know, and the obstacles. What the hell was that? That was one up, okay. Get off my stairs. I run these stairs. Ah, uh, I was trying to make that look cool. I like that little air dash that you got.
If I remember right, like, I don't remember, like, I, um, I know in Conan, like, they all had, uh, star metal weapons and whatnot, but I don't think Pirates of Dark Water, it was just really, like, the prince who had stuff. Because if I can, um, um, if I remember right, I don't remember Tula ever having anything. Like, you know, she never had no weapon like that. I mean, she had a weapon, obviously, but, um, I'm saying, like, she didn't have, like, no special weapon. It wasn't like Conan, where, like, all three of the main characters, they had, you know, a weapon that they used that was special. But it was just like, you know, the main character helped them out, and they just decided to go, you know, go with them on this pirate quest. So, like, it wasn't, you know, there wasn't nothing special. Oh, shit, rocks. Yep, yeah, you know I'm gonna get you for pushing that rock down on me, right, big dude? Looking like a big, fat Japanese sumo wrestler. Oh, eh, that's close. not what I was trying to do, but I'm trying to do the little air dive move, but I gotta jump and go forward with it. There we go. You know, just saying, ain't no way in the world she's gonna jump and, like, knock this dude back, like, that's not gonna happen. She's probably with like 98 pounds, soaking wet. Still would hit it though. It said she had high agility, so she, so you know she's flexible. Just saying, throwing that out there. All right, who we got? Boss fight now? Hey, power guy. Sloth, Sloth, whatever his name is. I remember he had like this. This ship was like bone, like had like bones and stuff on the front. So are you the boss? Yeah, you must be the boss. You got different health bar. So we're just fighting him right out the gate. Like I mean, he like he was like the main guy in the show. So if you're the first boss of the level, like am we gonna be fighting you multiple times or? Cause I don't know who like who was after you. <laughs> you should be the end boss. <laughs> Not the, uh, you know, the first boss of the game. Uh, like, you know, like, you would think it would be, like, his first mate guy or other people that they fought in the show, you know, and then at the end of the game, you fought him. Like, that's how we, you, you think, you know, it should go, but they got me fighting him as, like, I'm guessing this is still the first level, because we didn't change anything. Damn, you only had to give me the Shao Kahn like that, and you gonna laugh in my face. That's kind of... That's kind of fucked up. Yeah, take that. Hey, get off my power. Power of pussy compels you. Oh shit. <laughs> I was gonna keep on doing it, but I'm like, nah. Alright, fuck. No, don't- Ah, damn! You <laughs> came strong with that elbow. Yes, we're continuing. All right, let's go with um, let's go with you know main character Ren, aka He Man, aka Conan with his big buff arms. That's right, knocked him back 20 feet with a jab. Okay, you're just gonna jump over there and run away, huh? Man, don't be raising your arm like you did something. You got carried by Tula. All right, so that's that level one complete. So I got the first treasure of rule. Wait, wait, wait. I found the compass? In the show, he already had the compass. That was like the first thing. Like, he got it from his dad or something. <laughs> could be wrong about that. I know it's been like, you know, 15 plus years since I've seen it. But I could have swore that's what he had. Because he had the compass and didn't know what it was. And didn't know what it was used for. Because he just thought it was just a piece of jewelry or whatever. And we're back to more caves, okay. Two pirates in caves. Alright. Like Tool's combo better. He probably does more damage with his hits though. That's one thing that uh, used to always bug me in the show would be like um You would see him use his dagger and whatnot. Or use his short sword rather, because it was, or use his broken sword rather. I'm not gonna say short sword because it's not a short sword, but you using his um, his dad's sword, broken as it is, like a dagger, or as a short sword. But it, it, it was like just get, like get the sword fixed. Just because you break a sword, don't mean you can use it as like a short sword or a dagger. You're like no, just get the shit fixed. 
call it a day. <laughs> you know? Go smelt some steel or metal or whatever and you like get you know get that shit fixed at the local blacksmith. Like it's not like they couldn't do it. <laughs> but no, he just carried around the sword like it was symbolic. Like he's like, I'm gonna use my dad's weapon to do something I'm like, yeah. Using inferior technology. Now what's your badass move? Okay, you gotta you know you've been studying uh, studying with Ryu and Can I see. <laughs> I kicked that guy like uh <laughs> like like the black guy in uh in 300. Oh shit, another black guy. Okay, here we go. Just feeling his nuts all up, I guess. All right, let me just stay on this side of that spiky thing. Cause apparently, they're not smart enough. If not, I'll stay right here. Cause they're just gonna keep running into it and getting and getting themselves killed. As long as if I don't move, they're gonna keep coming straight. That's how y'all feel. Oh well, you had smarts to jump. Get it. Thank you. Ah, so far I like Tula's magic move better. Does that actually like, you know, kill people? Where his move, I, I gotta actually hit people with it. Tula's just kinda cleared the screen. <laughs> yeah, that's something else I can play for uh, Forgotten Fridays. When I just said that, it reminded me of the uh, the super moves you get in X-Men, the arcade game. That game, that game was the shit back in the time. I still love X-Men, the arcade game. I gotta, you know, get you know get started on that. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be a video. I, I don't know if it's gonna be next week, but I'm definitely planning on uh making that X-Men game. So that was like my shit back then. We're gonna probably do that. Let's say what else we could do. We could do the Simpsons. You know, even Teenage Mutant Ninja, uh, Ninja Turtles, because I remember playing that too. Play all those oh shit. Damn. Guess I wasn't feeling life. Rage put on life, I guess. Ooh, we ain't gonna show the charge though. Ah. Get up off me. Mm. Use that shoulder charge like he be in football, just trucking people. There we go. Mm. <laughs> I love that shoulder charge. I wonder if Tula had a move too. I don't remember seeing if she. Damn. Shit, that's nothing serious. in the jaw. Hmm. That's a weird kind of aerial thing because you would think like it's almost as if like they messed up the animation because it looks like it's backwards because the punch is on the opposite side you know like it seems like they should have flipped that <laughs> but maybe they just you know either they messed up or maybe that's what they intended that to be. Come on Lady Pyra just die already. Run into my fists. Come on, you got like a little bit of energy left. I can't go forward until I kill you, thank you. Oh god, you're still not dead. Okay. So I can see now I gotta let people come on the screen so I can actually combo them to be the most help. Another boss fight? Are we gonna go on the ground again? Okay, no dodging. Conveniently the most circle boulders in existence. Cause ain't no boulders that circular. Okay, that's kind of random. Okay, random fire traps. Just one of them. Like, it seems kind of like out of place. It's like you have like, okay, like if you're gonna have traps, you would have more than one. Like you would have like four or five traps placed like a land, kind of like a landmine pattern where you would have four or five of them or ten of them scattered on the ground for you to step on. You know, not just one. I mean, one kind of defeats the purpose. You, oh, you just gonna shank me in the back of the neck like that? Like you was smooth as shit. Came up on me like Ezio, like I didn't even see you. All I seen was the was the assassin's blade in the back of my neck. <laughs> that was smooth as shit. I can't even be mad at that. Dude, dude he was completely unseen. He was like, oh yeah. <laughs> Let me see him at the moment of my death. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe the man hit me up with the Altair. Alright. I don't know who the next boss fight's gonna be. I mean, because we already beat the main bad guy of the show.
Nope. I'm gonna give you the shoulder charge. I'm trying to kill these guys quick. This takes like forever to die. I can see now the uh, the other pirate guy that that's in his name, Ayaz or whatever. Like he's gonna probably be the guy who hits hardest, but like swings slowest. Because if I remember right, he had like a, a long sword in the cartoon, so he probably swings slow as hell. Plus another game I'm thinking about I could play for Forgotten Fridays. It was a Sega Genesis game. I mean, there's actually a few Sega Genesis games I could play. I know there was one called Ranger X. Side-scrolling mech shooter kind of sort of game, but you played it from... You can either play it from the ground or from the air. Love that game. Um, another game I could play is... Um, what was it called? It was like a, a Contra-style side-scrolling shooter. But... I can't remember the name, but it was like an anime stylish game where like one of you know one guy was red, one guy was blue, and y'all had different weapons that did different you know different things. It was like Contra where you could pick up weapon power ups and have different weapons, and you had to make your you know make your way through the stages. But in the game, the stages were done very well. Like it was a very high intensity game when you played it, um, and it was graphically beautiful for its time, and it was it was just fun. To, oh shit! What the hell? And you're small as shit. Like, really? <laughs> you know that big intro? It'd be like, I thought this dude was gonna be big as hell. Like, he was gonna jump down and be the boss, though. Just the normal pirate guy. You know what that tells me? That tells me that... That the devs were experiment. They were like, okay, let's just experiment. Let's make this look cool, Jessica. Let's see if we can do something like this. It'll be cool for looks. That's about it. <laughs> they only got like four enemy types in this game so far. But oh, I can't remember what that what the hell that game was called though. It was like I want to say like something troopers, and I, and, and like it's a lot of people's favorite game. So like it was, it, I mean it's a popular game. I just can't think of the name, but I could be wrong. But I want to say it's like something troopers, but I could be wrong. It might be something completely different. And plus, we gotta play the X Men games too. Love both of them. That was my shit back in the day. Also, that um. First X Men game on Genesis and Clone Wars. Ah, that's gonna be bugging me until I remember what that game was called. <laughs> but I ain't gonna worry about it. Just have to look it up, you know, at the end of this video or. Uh, yeah, 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 jump in and be small, bro. There, there you go. Embarrassed yourself. He was looking soft in front of Mary Jane right now, just saying. Oh dear god, how many pirate guys does this guy have? Like, I mean, I'll, I'll pretty much wipe it out the population, level by level. Oh, the conk. Yeah, see, the guy we already beat before, and, you know, in the level. Now he's an actual boss fight. So, like, we're playing this game in reverse, I think. That's what I think we're doing. We're fighting the boss first, then we're fighting his lackey second. And then I don't know who's gonna be third, because, like, if I remember right, they never had, like, no third bad guy esque character like you know that was his job <laughs> all right let me just keep keep mr vertically challenged in the corner and just keep mashing buttons i mean i'm just i could sit here all day punching sure people in the face Back in that corner. Damn, just picking them up and kneeing them too. But if I keep doing a spin kick, I'll kick, I'll kick them and him too. I swear, every time the, these pirates come out, looking like uh, like the guy you see behind me, looking like he's clenching his butt cheeks, they remind me of uh, the people from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Because they all they, they have that flamboyant look to them and stuff. But anyway, now that we finish that level, I'm guessing we're gonna get the first treasure of rule. But anyway, I know this has been a long ass video. Like I said, I really do apologize for not getting these out for the past couple weeks. But um, I know coming next week, one will be out Friday. All right, fellas. But anyway, 
thanks for watching the video and if you guys got any you know any games you want to see me play in the future or have any comments you want to let me know what you're thinking anything at all let me know down there in the comment section and my name is Dananu, and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out